Good morning, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch here. Hope you're doing well today. Today, on Sunday morning, I have my karate gi on. Why, you may say. Well, I'm going to preach in it today. We went to a karate tournament yesterday, and we had a long, long day. We had a bunch of students to go, and we had a great time. Several folks won trophies, and uh, we had a lot of good experience yesterday. And today we are going to be awarded the trophies in church and uh, we're going to uh, recognize the students and all the good times that we had. Yesterday I won second place and uh, I was a little aggravated at myself to be honest because I don't feel like I did my best. You ever been like that? You ever feel like that when you do something you just don't do your best? Well, now, yesterday was a long day uh, for me and the black belt uh, in tournaments. Uh, black belts have to judge uh, all the other things that are going on, the kids and the weapons and the fighting and the katas. And so you spend your day going from ring to ring and judging uh, underbelts is what, uh, what they're called. And you have to uh, make all these decisions during the day. And it's a very, very long day. Uh, we got there uh, around 8 o'clock. Uh, 8.30, and then my division didn't come up till after 4 o'clock, and I was judging all day, and uh, you get uh, you get aggravated when you see some stuff, and not just all that. Well, anyway, when my division came up, I, I don't feel that I that I did my best, and second place is okay, but, you know, I like first place, like most people, but I begin to think about that, why I didn't do my best. Have you ever thought about why you don't do your best? Well, I know why I didn't do my best, because I didn't put enough time in. We were trying to get the students ready in the dojo. Uh, Bobby Briggs is our Soki, that's a master. Uh, he is our instructor. I'm one of the instructors, but Bobby's the lead instructor. And uh, we were working on trying to get these kids ready for this tournament. And I just didn't put enough time in for, for what I was doing. And even though I got second, I think I probably could have gotten first. So after I got through the tournament and headed back to the house, I began to reflect on actually how much time I really put in, and it wasn't enough. So let me ask you, what about the time that you're putting in on what you're trying to do, now listen to me please, to excel, to receive a reward, to do your best? You know, the Christian life is very important in this comparison. We are to do our best. Now, my spiritual life was much better than my karate life yesterday, that's for sure. Because I do, by the grace of God, try to take that very critical time in my spiritual life because that's very important to me. And martial arts is also important to me, but I just didn't put the time in. And sometimes in the Bible, we don't put the time in. Sometimes we get too busy. Sometimes we get distracted. Sometimes we just simply get tired. I want to tell you that doesn't make me or you any less of a Christian or a martial artist or whatever the case may be. It just means that we didn't do our best this time. So let me ask you today to consider how are you doing in your relationship with Jesus Christ? Are you doing your best or are you struggling? Let me tell you that when you struggle, when you fail to do your best, it doesn't mean that you quit. Now what my commitment is, is I'm going to promise, I already have promised myself, and I promised my sensei, Bobby Briggs, that I will do better, and I promise you the next tournament we go to, things will be different. Why? Because I know that it's in me. I want to tell you that there's something in you far better than what you think. By the grace of God, by the mercy of God, God wants to use you in a dynamic way. And He wants to help you understand that you have such quality and such ability that that needs to be brought out. So today as we stand in front of the church and we're awarded trophies that we won yesterday and there's several of those in our class that did that, we'll be recognized for that and that's all in good. But at the same time, we had some that did well, some that didn't win a trophy, but we also had many that participated. So let me ask you this question. How are you participating in life? What are you doing with your role in the classroom, or in the karate term, the dojo, or in the world or the workplace? You see, what you put in is what you're going to get out. No greater lesson was learned again than yesterday.
I want to tell you this, my friend. What God wants to do in you is great. But if you or I don't put the time in, we will not be able to do it. So I trust that you'll take these words and apply them. And whatever you're doing, do it to the best of your ability. And then there'll be no regrets. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.